Wednesday, day, which is, the, which is tomorrow, is the 11th day of the 11th month, the 11th hour. Set aside to honor all those who served honorably in the military, in wartime and peacetime. In fact, Veterans Day is largely intended to thank living veterans for their service, to acknowledge that their contributions to our national security are appreciated, and to underscore the fact that those who died and who have served have sacrificed and done their duty. When a boy joins the military and becomes a man because he has to at an early age, he is a veteran and honor will follow. To the veterans who hear my voice, you have met your duty and serve with honor and integrity. And Americans still believe in freedom and the dignity of man. I wish to share this in remembrance of my fellow comrades. As soldiers, fighting soldiers, we walked together, fought together in combat, and never so quiet most of the time. There were times when we could actually think of each other's thoughts as each foot touched the ground. Even our breathing, sometimes barely audible, we were silent and alert. With each of our senses keenly searching in all directions, anticipating for the unknown to happen, and ready at all costs to protect one another. My son, Clint Hollingsworth, who is serving again in Iraq, has made me remember even more about combat situations and how much I miss him. Not knowing what is happening, but it is his turn to show his true colors when in the end and hopefully gain strength. All soldiers have lived, talked, laughed, and even cried together as friends and brothers. No matter what our background was or the color of our skin, we were one brotherhood, watching and taking care of each other. Whether it was on the ground or in the air or on or under the water, the American soldiers grew to know each other through bitter trials and pains. And there were the days when in terrible pain, we had to say goodbye to some. My son has a quote, and I want to share it with you. I was that which others did not want to be. I went where others feared to go and did what others felt to do. I've asked nothing from those who gave nothing and reluctantly accepted the thought of eternal loneliness should I fail. I have seen the face of terror, felt the stinging cold of fear, and enjoyed the sweet taste of moments love. I have cried, pained, and hoped, but most of all, I have lived times I would say were best forgotten. At least someday I will be able to say that I was proud of what I was, a soldier and a man. God bless America, and I salute all of you veterans.